once you can read, you've got the independence uh, for for almost everything as far as learning things is concerned. So it's just that pleasure of books, uh, escaping into books. And sometimes I think people forget that children's books, because they, I've heard writers say uh, when they're asked, what do you do? And they say, oh, I write, but only children's books. And they forget that uh, it's the children's writers who form the readers, give the passion for reading for the future, for the uh, adult readers that are going to come. I, f I find that very difficult because I see the advantages of uh, of the digital in, in that you can carry a lot of books around with you and you can have interactive uh, stuff. But the traditional book for me is still something which you become physically involved with. I love that feel of paper, the smell of uh, paper, especially after you've dropped a book in the bath and it dries out and, you know, it smells wonderful. I, I enjoy both when I'm writing. I enjoy the writing and probably want to be illustrating and, and vice versa. I was painting and my paintings were very influenced by Paul Clay, the, the squared up colours and, and I loved his drawings and he's always and still is a big influence on, on me I think as are a lot of other people. Uh, and at the same time, I was drawing cartoons for newspapers, and I often drew cartoons uh, with elephants in. I quite like drawing elephants, they can be quite fun. And there's, got a, there's a sympathy uh, about an elephant. And one day, I happened to draw an elephant, and then I drew, I, perhaps I didn't have a canvas, but I, I, I did uh, the patchwork on the elephant. Uh, and Elmer was born. Yeah, I've got another one uh, started now. Um, there's one which is finished and ready to come out um, later this year, and I've started the next one, which is about Elmer and the Whales. Oh, the, the stories of Winnie the Pooh. And, uh, and I, what I love and still love, and still my favourite, the version is, uh, is the version uh, read by Alan Bennett. And uh, if you don't know it, you should, you should listen to that. It's absolutely amazing. I think I was perhaps not quite as good a boy as I should have been. I know my mother said that when she was expecting my brother, she prayed that he wouldn't be like me. <laughs> so I, I, I perhaps wasn't, yeah, I guess I was ordinary.